Welcome to another tutorial. In this case, we're going to talk about the VR car. First of all, I would like to thank my uh, followers and the people that are supporting our work during these difficult times. Thank you very much for your help. When you buy and download our package, you will see that you have different scenes. You have the menu scene, that is this one here, that you can see uh, composed by um, a menu canvas, which is going to allow you to select different uh, parameters for the game. Then you have two other scenes that will be the uh, city in which uh, we'll be able to race with the car. And then we have the racing scene in which we can race also with the car, but in a different environment. Then we have a test scene in which we can uh, test in the uh, editor mode how the dynamics and the physics of the car are going to perform in this uh, package. Um, so let's just jump uh, into the different structure of a car um, game object. Um, this is explained in the documentation, but here uh, using the video will be uh, clearer. So um, let's go to the prefabs and inside we're going to open the city car. The city car is composed by different elements. First of all, we have the chassis. The chassis uh, is the rigid, uh, well, the, the part that is composed by the uh, the main uh, seats, the uh, steering wheel, everything that is inside the car. And um, the main script that we're going to use uh, in order to move the car is going to be the simple car controller. The simple car controller, as you can see here, has a steering factor that is used for uh, moving the wheels of the car uh, in an angular way and that gives the chance to rotate the car when it's moving forward. Then we have uh, different scripts uh, for the wheels that will be refer uh, referenced to here. And then we have two axes. We, uh, the first axis will be um, the two wheels that are in the front. And then we have uh, the second axis that are the two wheels that are in the back of the car. Those are explained. Then we have the max torque uh, from the engine or from the motor that is going to be the maximum torque applied to the wheels whenever uh, the car is moving. Then, um, as the car can be, uh, as you can, you will see in the uh, sim sample scene, as the car can have automatic transmission or manual transmission, we need to set the different speeds in which the car is able to change the gears uh, up and down. So we have uh, here the 30, uh, this will be kilometers uh, per hour, 50, 70, 90 and 120. The next thing we need to check is that the steering wheel that we will talk in just a few minutes uh, is going to be referenced uh, to this um, simple car controller script here as well as the gear change. This is because we need to have the rotation. Okay, the rotation of the steering wheel has to be known in order to um, to perform the movement of the wheels. Then, uh, well, we have another variable that is important to notice, that is the player is in, in order to check if the player is inside the car or not. And then we have all the things related to the uh, UI elements, which are the ones for the speedometer and the uh, RPM um, values that are displayed here in this panel. These are the most important variables for, for this script. Then we can move ahead and uh, just check how a steering wheel works in this package. So in fact, what we have, as you can see here, is first of all a jingle joint that allows the uh, uh, steering wheel to rotate along its main axis here. Then, as you will see here, we have two different fixed objects that have a rigid body. This is used because 
um, for rotating a game object using the hands uh, in virtual reality we need like an intermediate uh, game object that is in the middle that is going to be moved when the hands move another game object so the one that is being moved by the hands when we are grabbing is this one here so in fact if we put the different renderers you will see that there are different game objects okay we have one that is a circle here as you can see here and one that is a green um, square so those are different game objects and whenever we turn our hands and grab this game object here you will see that we are dragging or dragging just a game object that is empty with some scripts this, that is what this one here and that is going to make the in this case the left reference fixed follow that game object that's, so that's the main idea we use like a, an intermediate uh, game object that is going to follow the uh, the one that is being dragged by the the um, the hands we'll see this in a small video that I'm going to put here at the right so um, this is all regarding how the steering wheel works um, you can check that we have this rigid body follower so this one here is referring to the left grab and whenever we go to the right reference one it's referred to the right one so in fact we have in this case two um, two objects that are going to be able to be grabbed by the hands and these two fixed reference which are going to try to follow these grabbing uh, elements and this is also similar for the gear the gear as you can see here has also a grabbing uh, element and then we have the gear change which has the ginger joint okay so this is how um, a uh, car is uh, composed it's uh, yeah it's it's going to work in the in the asset now um, let's go ahead and check the other scripts that are here so we have talked about the car uh, the simple car controller then we have the gear change so in fact what uh, is going to happen is that uh, whenever the user is going to move in the city car this lever to um, the upper part or to the lower part of this, um, these two colliders that I'm going to show in just a minute this there are two colliders here that should appear that are going to be displayed now okay so we have two colliders in which uh, whenever the lever is going to enter them um, we're going to be able to change the gear of the simple car controller and change the speed of the car so those are uh, more or less the scripts for the car then we have the grabbing so it's important to understand how grabbing works the grabbing whenever we go to the XR uh, camera ring in the um, in the for example in this scene you will see that um, we have left controller right controller and inside the offset we have the gra grab volume custom um, L and R that is for the left and for the right hands so uh, in these objects you can see that we have a hand grabbing script so this works as follows Whenever we get inside a game object that we can grab, uh, this potential game object hand is going to be assigned to something. Then whenever we click or we press the um, grab trigger of the controller that is going to be managed by this um, input manager here. So whenever this is going to be set to true, the um, object in hand is going to change and we're going to be able to drag an object let's try to uh, show how it works from the editor so if we hit play in the VR menu scene 
will be able to um, move the hands to, to move the controller and select the different elements that are in the UI. So this is a way of doing things and testing in the editor if you don't have the link cable for your um, uh, Oculus Quest. So whenever you do that and you select the different elements, you will see that we have the transmission, the map, and the car that is being selected. So if you hit OK, um, the car will be uh, showing uh, in the screen correctly. I'm going just to mute the audio so it's not going to um, interfere with explanations and we're going to see what happens if I um, I pick up the hand controller that is going to be uh, here more or less the right controller and I'm going to put that controller inside an element that is um, grabbable for example the steering wheel and you will see what happens. So whenever we are, we are in here, inside the steering wheel, you will see that um, in the offset and the ground volume right, you will see that the potential object in hand is going to be grabbing. And in fact, it's this part of the steering wheel that is going to be grabbed. So whenever we press the grabbing button and we hold it, um, for example, here we are using the um, the right um, hand that will be the grabbing right down so if we hit that you will see that automatically what it happens is that the real hand is going to be uh, occluded is going to disappear and in fact another hand is going to appear that is going to be like a, um, example uh, hand that is uh, linked to the steering wheel. This will be like um, a way of showing the user that the hand is interacting directly with the steering wheel. But nevertheless, if we move the hand that is not going to be shown, you can see that the steering wheel is changing. And whenever the steering wheel is changing in uh, rotation, the wheels are also changing in uh, rotation. So in fact that is all controlled by the different scripts inside the uh, car. Finally we're going to explain how you can export this into your device. First of all you have to go to the package manager and you have to verify that in your project you have these special um, packages. You need to have the Oculus XR plugin, the um, the universal render pipeline, the XR interaction subsystems, the interaction toolkit 2, and the XR plugin management. So one of these is not shown um, whenever you search it here, so you will need to show preview packages too in order to be able to access to those. Nevertheless, I believe that whenever you import the package, and um, you put it into your uh, new, it's a very important new project, a fresh project, in order to uh, prevent errors. Um, you will be asked if you want to set the, the, the dependencies of the project. And in this, in this case, all the packages will be imported automatically. And finally, um, for the graphics, you need to select the universal render pipeline here and put it in the graphics. And in the XR plugin in management, you will need to select Oculus. And inside Oculus, you will be able to change the different parameters here. And this is also uh, important. You need to add the three scenes that are um, in the scene folders um, in that order. So this is all regarding the tutorial. I hope you um, have enjoyed uh, the explanations and please if you have any questions or you need further information regarding this package or you have any inquiries of how uh, to uh, implement different functionalities please write to us using our standard email 
thanks very much for your help. Uh, we appreciate that you are um, buying our packages during these difficult times and keep up the good work programming and developing your own application for Quest. And remember that we always try to um, create the best packages for developers uh, in uh, the asset store. Thanks very much for watching this video.